All right, guys, we have read about the tree octopus, the book scorpion, and this one, letter C, oh my goodness, tiny dragons. Let's find out about them. Hmm. What's your favorite kind of pet? A roly-poly kitten, maybe, or an energetic tail-wapping German shepherd, or a delicate goldfish in a bowl, maybe even a slow-moving box turtle. Those are all great pets, but have you ever thought about having your own personal dragon? Curious to know more? Come on, let's go on an adventure. For this trip, you'll need warm clothes, sturdy boots, and a flashlight with a strong beam. We're going to travel to the Eastern European country of Slovenia. Deep in the mountains, in the aquatic caves of Postogina, lives a species of cave-dwelling salamander that looks just like a baby dragon. It's known as Proteus anguinus, or more informally, the Ulm. Now, let's be honest, you're not going to take an Ulm home with you. They are aquatic cave dwellers after all, but why don't you stick around for a while anyway? Our tour is just getting started. Wanna get up close and personal with a real life pocket dragon? Here we go. Ulms can grow to be eight to 12 inches long about the length of your forearm, with slithery, snake-like bodies and slender limbs. They have three toes on each of their forelegs and just two toes on their hind legs. Basically, they look exactly like a tiny baby dragon. They have three pink fan-like gills on either side of their head, and their pale, fleshy skin is so thin that you can see through to the shapes of their internal organs. Bear with me. All right. They are born with underdeveloped eyes that, within months of their birth, become almost completely blind. Many Ulm's eyes are grown over with a thin layer of skin. Although they can still register changes in light around them, as if to make up for this, Ulm's other senses are supercharged. Smell, taste, and especially hearing. In the water, Hearing, they can detect the smallest sound waves and micro disturbances in the water around them. Ohms also have a weird sixth sense, electrosensitivity. A special organ in their heads helps them detect electrical waves of passing creatures. Is that a tiny sea worm? Gulp, all gone. Mealtime for the Ohm consists of insects and small aquatic creatures such as crabs and water snails. Food can be scarce in the dark bellies of the caves that serve as their homes. So when they find food, they gobble up as much of it as they can. They can then store these nutrients in their bodies for another, hun for another hungry day, day. How long? For up to 10 years. Since an Ulm might live as long as 100 years, that's not very many meal times. Historical records of the Ulm date back to 1768. They were further immortalized by Charles Darwin, in On the Origin of Species, as an example of an ancient organism shaped by its harsh environment. You can find the Ulm primarily in the southeastern European countries of Slovenia, Croatia, and Bosnia and Herzegovina. In Slovenia, they are considered a national treasure, and their image was printed on one of the 10 Staten coins. Dragon treasure, anyone? In Slovenia, for the equivalent of about $20, you can get on board a special train that will take you through the Pastrona Cave for an up-close and personal tour. All right, that's it, Bobcats. You have now heard two truths and a lie. We have, hmm, where did we start with? The tree octopus, the book scorpion, and now a baby dragon, tiny dragon. Which one do you think is the lie? Be sure to tell me in the rest of our Google form. We'll see you next time.